I want to preach from this subject. I want to preach about these four young men. I, I want to preach from this subject, uh, young guns. Some of you have had good habits, and you've given them up. You had good habits of prayer, good habits of church attendance, good habits of being where you should be, and to get what the, what's placed before you, you've given up good habits. This is not a formula for success. It's a formula for, for failure because the devil wants every one of you to believe that who's standing between you and your getting to where God wants you to be is the church. Service, prayer, Jesus, your habits of faithfulness and hard work in the church. Don't give up good habits. God and worship is not a liability. It's our greatest asset. It's the best thing that we have going. Your relationship with the Lord, your commitment to the Lord. You remember, they changed the rules. And Daniel says, I'm still going to pray three times a day. And they're trying, they're trying to make us accept the demonic. And here's the goal, as I'm, I'm, I'm making a point. They know that they're not going to change your mind. That's not their goal. Here's their goal. Just make you a little less adamant. Somewhere you got to draw the line. Don't be like everyone else. Hallelujah. Don't give in to the pressures around you. The devil's going to try to pressure you in your heart. No, you won't be perfect. You'll make some mistakes. We all have. But you're the purpose in your heart. For God I'll live and for God I'll die. Good God Almighty. The we cancel your plans, Satan. We cancel your plans for mom and dad. We cancel your plans. We cancel cancer. We cancel your plans in the name of Jesus.